Hi, this is Jeff Wells, part of the Wells Property Group. I'm here with your September 2016 real estate update. Something we like to try to do every month and just bring you an update on the real estate market in Central Texas, San Antonio, Austin. We haven't done one of these for a few months because we've been busy. Very hot market. We've been buying and selling homes, working with home buyers, investors, uh, and trying to, to take advantage here of the busy season. Many times in Central Texas, the market will slow down at the end of the summer. Well, here we are in October, and judging by the market performance in September, it's going to continue to be a hot year and a hot market uh, into 2017 and beyond. So what we'd like to do today is take you through the statistics for both Austin and San Antonio, the real estate statistics, which gives you a good idea of the pulse of the market, how healthy the market is. Then I'd like to take you into a rental property that we recently purchased for an investor friend of ours and just sort of show you kind of an ideal type of rental property for those of you who are considering purchasing an investment property but haven't yet wanted to take the plunge. So let's start with the September 2016 San Antonio market statistics. First, and, and this is always one of the most important statistics, days on the market. 56 days on the market is 6% better, which means 6% less than it was during September 2015. It's a great indicator of homes are selling quickly. That's the bottom line. Total sales are up 9% year over year. Average price is up 4% to 243,000. Median price is up 6% to 204,000, which that's huge for San Antonio. That median price jumping above the 200,000 line, that's never happened before. So that's a really big deal. You can also see every single month, the percentage of homes that sells at 199 and below decreases and the percentage of homes that sells at 200 and above increases. San Antonio was just rated as one of the fastest cities in the country in terms of the growth of the million dollar plus uh, market sector. And it doesn't mean that there's more homes sold there than any other city, but it means that segment of the market is growing very quickly due to many folks moving in from the West Coast, from Phoenix, uh, from other parts of the country that have much more expensive real estate. They'll sell their homes there, They'll take some of the equity in their homes. They'll buy a less expensive home here, which still may be a million dollar home. Now let's switch over and take a look at the Austin statistics for September. The days on the market is 47 days, which is no change from last year. You're gonna see the, mo the market in Austin is still very, very hot. It's just slowing down just slightly. And you can see that, that Austin's feeling some of the effects from a normal fall market cycle. The median home price in Austin is $275,000. And again, just looking back at San Antonio's is $204,000. So there's still a very wide gap in terms of the, the prices from Austin to San Antonio, but San Antonio is catching up quickly. Single, ham, single family homes sold 2,576. That's up 1% from the same time last year, September 2015. Uh, new listings are up 7%, active listings are up 10%, and pending sales are up 2%. San Antonio actually has a few less listings during September of this year versus last year. And I think that's just a function of supply and demand. There's a lot of demand out there. The listings are selling quickly. And many people still live by the conventional knowledge that you don't want to list your home in the fall or the winter. Not really the case, as you can see, 9% increase from last year to this year in San Antonio, but it's just part of the knowledge that people conventionally have always thought. You wanna sell your home in the spring and the summer. Now, as you can see, the market's doing very well in both Austin and San Antonio. Central Texas is one of the hottest areas in the country. Many, many folks contact us on a regular basis and they'll ask how to get started in real estate investing, how to purchase a rental property, how to go about doing that. And so we have lots of calls and meetings that sort of talk folks through how to get started. And obviously the right answer depends on your individual situation. There's no right answer, but if you have some money in savings, stock market's been doing well for the last couple years, but if, if you'd like to maybe pull some of your money out of the stock market or diversify a little bit, buying an investment property or rental property is a great way to get started. San Antonio, there's a lot of real estate investors in San Antonio. So if you're looking to do something like flipping, obviously there's great opportunities in San Antonio, but there are tons of investors. I mean, thousands of investors in San Antonio that are looking for that next flip opportunity that are scooping these homes up on a, on a very, very rapid basis. So San Antonio, in addition to being a good place to flip homes, is also a great place to buy and hold. And buy and hold simply means purchase a home, 
maybe fix it up a little bit, hold on to it and rent it out. Great advantages to that, you have tax advantages, you have the market appreciating, you have income generation, you have a lot of different things that, that that'll accomplish. Wanted to show you one example. This is a, a neighborhood, it's called the Kenton neighborhood. There's several different sub neighborhoods in there. There's Kenton Miss, Kenton View, different, different neighborhoods. But it's located over on the northwest side of San Antonio over by the medical center. Uh, we've purchased four or five homes in there this year uh, for several clients who want to start out in with rental properties. And the cool thing about this neighborhood, there aren't many places within the I-10, 410, 1604 area that you can find homes less than 150,000. And this entire neighborhood, it consists of homes that look just like this. We're gonna bring some pictures up and show you. And they're almost built more like townhomes, but they have their own yards, small yards, but they have their own yards. Uh, they have their own community association. It's perfect for doctors, nurses, folks that are coming into the medical center, uh, we've rented to several military clients because it's close to the military bases, very close to HEB and USAA and Valero and all those corporate headquarters on that side of town. And as you know, that part of San Antonio is growing very quickly. So there's a very high demand to rent these particular homes, but you can still buy them in the one thirty-five dollars to $150,000 range. And, and that's really neat. This particular house we closed on about a month ago, give or take and we bought it in the 130s didn't need any work we invested maybe a thousand fifteen hundred dollars just to spruce a few things up it is 1369 square feet it's three bedrooms two and a half baths and again it has its own little yard and this particular home backs up to a green belt so there's no houses behind it and the rental demand is extremely extremely hot in here these homes rent for anywhere between thirteen fifty to fourteen hundred, so you can buy a home for less than one hundred forty thousand, and you can potentially rent that home for greater than fourteen hundred. That passes the one percent rule, meaning you're able to rent it out for more than one percent of the total purchase price. So just an idea, just food for thought. This is just an example. There's a lot of areas in San Antonio that are hot. A lot of areas you can find great rental properties at great prices, but the demand is very high and you always want to try to follow that 1% rule. So if you have any questions about how to get started in real estate investing or where to go or how to go about doing something like that, we're always available. Uh, you can email me at jeff at wellspropertygroup.com. You can go to our website, which is www.wellspropertygroup.com. Or you can follow us on Facebook, just look up Wells Property Group, and we try to post real estate investing tips and, and things of that nature. So it's been a great last couple months. Thanks to all of you. We appreciate your support. Uh, we also want to always give a shout out to our military and thank them for all that they do. And again, if you have any questions, reach out to us. Here's to a great October and beyond, and happy Halloween. And if we don't talk to you before Thanksgiving, have a happy Thanksgiving. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.